Have you set up your games and gadgets for your home office and now you're wondering how to add use them? Don't worry, this video will walk you through how to optimize your ergonomics for the remote work. And afterwards, you'll be unstoppable in your remote task. And at the end of the video, there is a little tip for those who doesn't have adjustable desks with memory slots. And everyone else can surely benefit some home office tips. Let's start with the chair. The general rule of thumb is to have your knees at a 90 degree angle. After this, you shouldn't feel localized pressure under your thighs. Add just the seat tilt and the backrest height accordingly. After that, if you need to make minor adjustment to the backrest tilt, then go ahead. Some people like to use armrest, while others don't. When your forearm is relaxed by your side, take measuring tape, place it under the elbow and then take note from the measurements. Add use the desk height to match. Then either rest your forearms to the desk or add use the armrest to the same height to provide good support for your arms. Now, what about the monitor? If you are wearing reading glasses, the lower part of the lens is designed to be sharp at the depth about 70 cm. So add use your monitor close to the tabletop surface so you don't have to bend your neck backwards. Without glasses or regular glasses, close your eyes, find comfortable neck position, then open up your eyes and consider do you need to lower the chin to see the bottom of the screen? If so, raise the monitor. However, top lines of the text shouldn't be above the eye level, otherwise the eye controlling muscles will tire quickly. Good distance to screen is the width of the hand or maximum 10 cm from the tip of the fingers. If you are experiencing neck pain related headaches, you'll find a recommendation video at the end of this video to help you with that. And if you like this content, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It will going to mean a world to me. Thank you. Now, how about using the saddle chair? Raise it to the height where your feet lightly touch to the ground when you're sitting on it. If the saddle chair top adjust, then adjust it that the weight distribution is comfortable against your buttocks. Again, use the measuring tape, set it to the right height, replace it onto your desk and there you go. If your legs can endure the standing all the day, that's impressive. However, if you're just starting to explore the choice of the standing work, consider using padded shoes or furry rug. Regarding to the furry rug, make sure it's easy to clean in your workspace and get the feng shui right. Well, while standing with 50-50 weight distribution on your feet, use the measuring tape and you can guess the rest. Ta-da! And that is the convenient height for the standing work again. If you don't have a memory setting or you want to have easy memory aid, make the mark to adjustment leg so it's easily visible when you are making the height adjustments. Then you won't have to guess once you figure out the right height and it's easy to replicate. In addition to this, the cables plug in suitable length extension cord from the wall underneath the tape and route all necessary cables to that extension cord. Now, if you have wheels under your workstation, you have easily movable and manageable workspace. From the playlist, you can access my economic related video and from here, tension headache tips. And see you at the next one.